All right, section 5.2, we're doing multiplication and division of integers. <clears throat> so problem number one wants us to use the number line model to show 4 times negative 3 uh, is negative 12. <clears throat> so when we do this, uh, we would start at 0 and just show 4 jumps of negative 3. Uh, negative 3 is the one that's grouped, so we're going 4 groups of 3 to the left, ending at negative 12. Uh, C is the one that displays uh, that. And number two, we have A through D parts. <clears throat> so it says, the number of students eating in the cafeteria has been decreasing at a rate of 10 per year for many years. Assuming the trend continues, write a multiplication problem uh, that describes a change in the number of students eating in the school cafeteria for each situation. Okay, so A, the change over the next seven years. Okay, so we're told that uh, 10 fewer students per year. So we want negative 10 times seven years. <coughs> um, we're decreasing by 10, so B would match Okay, uh, B, the situation seven years ago. Okay, so <clears throat> we're losing uh, 10 per year. Uh, this is seven years later, seven years ago, we need to go backwards. So how many we would actually be adding? So we need to do seven years ago would be another negative, would represent that. Um, that would represent, uh, be represented by A, uh, seven years ago. So that's negative seven. see the change over the next n years okay so we would just do n times negative 10 for any number of years n being any uh, number of years <coughs> and uh, c models that situation And then D says the situation um, N years ago. So similar to the part B, we would do negative N times negative 10. <clears throat> and that would give us for N years ago, how many students were eating in, in the cafeteria? How many more? Uh, represented by B. <clears throat> <clears throat> 